Yeah, in the time that we don't have left, I want to give you each an opportunity to tell me to tell me what you see coming next. I mean, you know, this is a dangerous, dangerous from an IR and PR perspective, forward-looking statements at Recursion and Evolve. Um, but what are the next big opportunities? Andrew, I'm going to start with you because you're largest on my screen. What's the, what are the next big opportunities that Evolve is looking to capitalize on? And, and just generally, what, what do you see happening next in the space? Um, so in the terms of Evolve, like near term, we want to enable basically any scientist working on AM, on antibodies to uh, leverage AI, you know, they, or ML. Um, they can, via our end-to-end -end design platform or by helping them figure out how to integrate into their own uh, their own organizations. Um, in the long term, I would really like to see Evolve enable the design of personalized medicine, right? Um, just driving down the cost of discovery, sort of in a similar way that anyone who wants to learn to code an app, code up an app, can do it that today in a ways that they couldn't do it a couple of days ago. Maybe we, um, my goal is my hope is that we can drive down the cost of starting a biotech to under hundred grand and basically enable anyone to start a biotech. Really drive the mm -hmm of drugs that matter to each, each of us personally. Now, in terms of sort of the future of what I what I think about for the the um, computational biology space and the inter intersection of AI, ML, and biology, I, I started this saying, I think this, this, the whole field is still fairly nascent. And I think we need uh, to be both patient and urgent. You know, I'm super excited to see the first FDA approved AI generated mo molecule. I'm rooting for recursion. And all the other companies that are in the space that are in you know, phase two, phase threes. Um, the reason I'm so excited for it is that if it it could truly drive down the cost of development and um, initiate the next era of biopharma, which again I think is really about personalized medicine. But I'm also excited about the new tools that are coming up that are enabled in the computational future, like robotic automation, CRISPR, and you know organs on a chip, other other types of technologies that are really enabling what we're the, the transformation we're seeing today. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Tina, final thoughts on what's next? Um, yeah, I, I think in, in the recursion sphere, you definitely we're looking forward to uh, getting bringing more clinical data. That's the ultimate, you know, getting patients novel drugs and new new treatment, new options is the ultimate goal of all of us. Uh, really excited about uh, pharma partnership milestones uh, coming up. So I think we have we have um, partnerships with in oncology with Bayer, in neuroscience with Roche Genentech, as, as well as an oncology collaboration there. So once again, just showing that this partnering, this is not like small, innovative biotech versus, you know, big biotech or big pharma, right? That, that we're really actually partnering to bring these technologies to bear with, with, with great partners like Roche Genentech and Bayer. And, and always fun tech on the tech side. Uh, look at this, this partnership with NVIDIA uh, coming and their, their BioNemo platform and then really seeing technologies like that evolve and grow and bringing more of the, the machine learning, the kind of the, the, the tech oriented community, getting them excited about solving problems in life science. That, that's where I see, uh, you know, we've talked a lot here about getting biopharma folks past the concept that AI is hype and get them excited about the tools that, that, that AI can bring. I also really am excited for the machine learning and and AI, you know, folks to get increasingly excited about can they apply their skills to tackling these really hard problems in medicine. Yeah, yeah, very good. Well, I really appreciate uh, your time. I appreciate you both for coming on. You're both fantastic. Um, thank you so much for spending some time with us. I apologize for going a little over here. I'll let you get on with your days. Uh, I'm also super grateful to those of you in the audience who came out to join us today and to learn from Tina and Andrew and to ask questions. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this program will be available on demand shortly. You can use the same link that you use to register and that's shareable. So I encourage you to share it with, with your friends and colleagues. Uh, I also want you to stay tuned to bioprocessonline.com because we have a lot more programming come on, coming up uh, for 2024 in terms of these live events. Um, so stay tuned there, bioprocessonline.com. And in the meantime, I wish everyone a wonderful and joyous holiday season. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>